hold up, I am on my way, I'm in motion. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another Vlogmas video. Today is the assumptions about me video. That was a trend like, I don't know, like two years ago. I'm a bit late to the trend train. But here I am now recording your assumptions about me video. I popped up on my Instagram uh, questions box asking for your guys' assumptions about me and I'm going to go through them and answer them for you. The first one is, you don't like the look of glasses on yourself but think others look good with glasses. <laughs> first of all, I can't see right now because I'm not wearing my glasses because no, I don't really like the look of glasses on myself but not only that, when I'm recording the reflect like the glare the reflection of light is really annoying when i'm editing and just in the video in general i number one don't like i don't love the look of glasses on me i really like my new glasses compared to my old ones but yeah i'm not i'm not a huge fan and i do think other people like look great with glasses i see all these chicks and they've got glasses on i'm like you look great why can't i look like that the next assumption is you live week to week and you spend all your pay that was definitely the case before Luke got his new job because he was earning such a small amount, like just enough to get us through the bills and food. There was no money to save, even if we wanted to save. But now that he works away in the mines and he goes away 50% of the time, he's on decent money. So we aren't living paycheck to paycheck anymore and there is still money left at the end of the pay packet. So at one point that assumption was definitely true, but it's not anymore. You don't want to return to the workforce just yet. I'm in two minds about this. Like for my mental health, I know that I would benefit from having some distance from the household and getting out back into the workforce and getting lunch breaks and getting to go to the bathroom without being touched all the time and getting to just you know i know it sounds dumb but just get away work i feel like for me would benefit me and would be a bit of an escape it's not that way for everyone but i just feel like i can only pre assume presume assume assume <laughs> what am i trying to say i can only assume that that's how it would be because i have never been a working mom i could be completely wrong but i'm in two minds about it because I do want to be there as Evie grows up. She's such a sweet little girl and Talia starts kindy next year. So it would be like the perfect time to be getting back into the workforce. But because I have Evie and she's so little, I don't. I do just kind of want to be there to watch her grow up because she is such a sweetheart and she is such a relaxed baby. I am in two minds about it. It's like, it's a struggle. It really is a struggle. The next question is, you and Luke can't get out of the bedroom when you're together. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. I mean, um, we obviously don't spend all of our time in the bedroom. We do get out of the bedroom and interact with the kids and go and go to the park and do fun stuff. We do other things other than be in the bedroom. <laughs> but in saying that, we do have a very, very healthy sex life. Um, on average, we are in the bedroom together probably like two to three times a day like that's an average though some days we won't at all and then some days we'll be we'll have sex like four times so it's that's just an average but on average like maybe two times a day you have very pretty hands um is that an assumption uh because it's wrong if it, it's it's an observation but it's wrong because i don't i hate my hands um, you love having a blended family. I do love having a blended family. I feel like it's, it comes in waves and it's kind of like shifts. I know that sounds terrible. It's not crazy hectic all the time. Sometimes we'll just have Evie. Sometimes we'll have Evie and Talia. Sometimes we'll have all four kids. And then it's just, it's kind of like, there's a bit of variety. I don't know if that sounds bad, but I really do, do enjoy the blended family dynamic. You don't want to go back to regular work. If I, is that the same as the other question? Like, I, oh, I don't want to go back to work. I do, but I don't. Same, I, like I'm in two minds about it, like I said. You're a proactive and devoted mum. I don't know if proactive is the right word. I feel like, I feel like I wish I was proactive, but I'm, I'm probably not. If by proactive you mean lay in bed awake at night, thinking of all the horrible things that could possibly go wrong and trying to come up with solutions to all of those problems, then yeah, I'm proactive. Um, but I wouldn't say that's a good thing, but devoted. I definitely feel like I'm a devoted mum. 
but also there is like that aspect of mum guilt when I'm filming or editing or on social media on my phone so that can be seen as not as devoted because I'm like dividing my attention at home when I should be just focusing on my kids and I don't know. I feel I want to be a devoted mum and proactive. You sometimes struggle to find the positives in situations. Like every, yes, that is 100% true. That assumption is 100% true. I do struggle to find the positives in situations. And until I met Luke, it was really, really bad to the point where I was just negative all the time. But since meeting Luke, even situations that have come up that didn't seem like there was going to be a bright side or a positive side to the situation, there's always been a reason that the bad things have happened to me or to us. So now I kind of look at things a little bit differently. And even though initially my reaction is to be like, oh, this sucks and this is bad and blah, blah, blah. Once I've had time to think about it, I'm like, there's obviously a reason because ever since I've met Luke, everything has happened for a reason and everything has just fallen into place and made sense down the line. In general, yeah, I do initially really struggle to find the positive in situations. You miss being a flight attendant. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why am I about to cry right now? Um, yes, I do miss being a flight attendant. I really miss being a flight attendant. It really, it sucks because I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to do that again because I have four kids and I would love to get back into flying again. I have played around with some ideas of how to potentially fit being a flight attendant into my life as a mother. You can find casual positions as a flight attendant and I could just work the days that Luke is home, the weeks that Luke is home. But in saying that, I would never get to see Luke. So it's just something that we've discussed, we're talking about in the future. Who knows what the future has to, who knows what the future has to hold? Who knows what the future holds? You secretly want one more. Hell to the no. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> that assumption is so far from the truth. No, like no, I don't want any more. I'm done. I'm the shop is closed. This shop is closed. Snip, snip, snip. I booked him in while he was at work. No, no more. Sorry, I'm really sorry to disappoint you. You used to go out all the time when you were younger to clubs. Yes, I did. All the time. I went through phases, but yeah, went especially during the times that I was single. I was going to the clubs like every weekend or every other weekend. That assumption is correct. You like doing things your way and don't care about what others have to say about it. That's really true. I don't even know if that's a, a bad thing. I'm pretty sure it's a bad thing. Um, when it comes, <laughs> even when it comes to like small things like housework and how, how I stack the dishwasher, I'm like, I do it best and I know how to do it. So even though Luke does try and pitch in and help around the house, I'm like, you're not doing it right. <laughs> I like things done a certain way and I like to do things my way. I'm not one to be like, you have to do it my way. This is how it is. Like telling strangers or just people in life how to do things a certain way. But just for, for me in particular, I like to do things a certain way in my life. And I don't care what anyone has to say about it. Correct. You're smarter than you like to let on. What? Do I seem dumb in my videos? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I had a chat to my dad about this last night actually about how I feel dumb around Luke because he's just so intelligent. He's so clever. He's like the jack of all trades. He knows how to do so many things. He's got like a big vocabulary and I'm just not like, I'm just not used to being around someone so intelligent. Um, so he makes me feel a little bit dumb. And I said that to dad last night on the phone. I was like, I feel so dumb around Luke because sometimes he has to explain things to me and I'm not used to, I'm not used to that at all. And dad said to me, everyone is educated in different things. Like if I was to just start talking about aviation and flying and planes and stuff, he might, he would probably be a bit confused, you know, but in general, um, I don't feel like I try and act dumb, if that makes sense. I just, what you see is what you get in my videos with me. You're still struggling with the idea of having more babies. Do it, they're adorable. Nope, 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 nope. I'm not struggling with that at all. The only aspect of it I struggle with is seeing Evie and being like, she is growing up very quickly and I want to save it every moment with her, but in no way do I want to go and create another human. That is the last thing in the world that I want to do. I love my kids, don't get me wrong, and I love the ones we have, but I don't want to add any more ch children to the mix. You don't get along with Luke's family. Uh, quite the opposite, actually. I love Luke's family. I have met, actually, I think I've met most of his family. 
probably like 95% of them. Um, a lot of them live in Victoria. I've flown there and I've met them. And his mum and his mum's partner live in Townsville. And his sister and her kids and her husband live at the Gold Coast, which is like an hour and a bit away. And I've met all of them and I love all of them. I personally, I struggle to find people that I get along with and um, I struggle to find people that I have connections with, like strong connections with, but I really, really love Luke's family and I hope they love me too. I haven't heard anything that makes me think otherwise, but um, no, I get along with them fine. And the last one is you're an introvert. I'm so freaking lootly. Like as much as an introvert as you can be, that's how much of an introvert how much of an introvert I am. That doesn't sound right, but I'm pretty sure I'm saying that right. I'm very introverted. I'm not, even though I come across as um, confident on the camera and maybe sometimes if you meet me in person, I'll come, depending on my mood, I'll come across as like confident. I'm very introverted. I'd much rather sit at home and watch Netflix and chill. <laughs> and I'm not like now at this point in my life, not one to be going out and partying and you know, um, meeting new people and it's just not, since I've become a mum, I've become even more introverted than I was. I was a little bit more extroverted as a teenager and child, but now that I've grown up and I've had kids, I'm, I'm very much an introvert and I'm, I, I kind of like it that way. <laughs> okay guys, that is your assumptions about me. Thank you to everyone who sent them in. I really appreciate it. If you want to be included in future videos like this, please go and follow me over on Instagram. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next Vlogmas video. Bye.